to Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi Television Network. Today the church celebrates Saint Bathyodes. Bathyodes is not a very popular saint, but her story begins around the year 630. She was a frightened Christian English girl who could never have imagined what her future would be like. What she did not know was that she had been kidnapped and was on a pirate ship. Where was she going? Who could she ask? Finally, the ship docked and she heard people saying they were in France. Bafildis was quickly sold as a slave to the manager of King Clovis's palace. The rest of the story is like a fairy tale except that this particular tale is really true. The quiet girl paid careful attention as her calls were explained or demonstrated to her. And day after day, she went from one task to another, doing the very best she could. She was shy and gentle, but even King Clovis began to notice her. The more he observed, the more he was impressed. And this was the kind of girl who would make a wonderful wife and even the king's wife. In the year 649, Clovis married Bathyodes. The little slave girl had become the queen. They had three sons. And Clovis later died when the oldest son was only five. So Bathyodes would be the ruler of France until her sons grew up. And that was the implication. It must have been surprising to just about everybody that Bathildes could rule so wisely. She remembered too well what it was like to be poor. She remembered also her years as a slave. She had been sold as if she were a thing of little value. Bathildes wanted everyone to know how precious they were to God. She was filled with love for Jesus and his church, and she used her position to help the church in every way she could. She did not become proud or arrogant, rather, she cared so much for the poor. She also protected people from being captured and treated as slaves. She filled France with hospitals. She started a seminary to train priests and a convent for nuns. Later, Queen Bathildes entered the convent herself. As a nun, she set aside her royal dignity. She became one of the nuns, humble and obedient. She never demanded or even expected that other people should wait on her. She was also very kind and gentle with the sick. And when she became ill, she suffered a long painful illness that lasted till her death on the 30th day of January in the year 680. What lessons does St. Mathildes offer us today? Our reflection continues after the break. Do stay with us.
Hence, the life of Bathyldes is a great lesson. She becomes an object of emulation by all of us. She teaches us the path of empathy. And that's precisely we find in the incarnation. Christ became one of us. He felt our pains. And so it was easier for him to offer his life for us. And today the challenge she places before us is to empathize with those in difficulties. In this year of mercy, she encourages us to reach out to those in need. Besides this, who can count how many and how great her services were to religious communities? But they discharge great estates and hold forests upon them for the construction of their cells and monastery. At Shells in the region of Paris, she built a great community of virgins as her own special house of God. She named the maiden Bertilla, a servant of God, as the superior of the group. In time, the venerable Lady Bathilde would decide to go there to live under the rule of religion and to rest in peace. In truth, she followed her desire with willing devotion. Whatever wonders God works through the saints and the chosen ones should not be easily passed over. For all contribute at the end their praise to God. And as scripture says, God does wonders in the saints. Psalm 37. The Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, dwells within and cooperates with the benevolent heart, as it is written, all things work together for good for those who love God. This was spoken truly of this holy woman. As we have said, neither our tongue nor that of any other can voice all the good that Lady Bathyard did. How much consolation and help she lavished on the houses of God and on the poor for the love of Christ. How many advantages and comforts she conferred on them. Let us pray. O oh God, you inspired St. Bathyard's to strive for perfect charity and so attain your kingdom at the end of our pilgrimage here on earth. Strengthen us through her intercession that we may advance rejoicing in the way of love. Amen. Thanks for staying with us. It's been Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi TV. Oh.